Good evening, everybody. So I chose to um, create my position for the technology unit at Washington State University, which is my alma mater. And it is a full-time position, and the position is technology and innovation director. So a little bit about, a little background about Washington State University. We're located in Pullman, Washington, which is a very rural, um, small town in eastern Washington. It's about 15 minutes from Moscow, Idaho. It was founded in 1890. It's approximately 27,000 students in attendance. Um, so it's a pretty big university, definitely a top three university in the state of Washington in terms of uh, size. Um, it's in a rural setting, a college town. Okay, Pullman is known as a college town. And it's a four-year university, including online, a global component, graduate programs, and three information technology service departments, okay, which the technology and innovation director will be in charge of managing the three information technology service departments. And our mascot is a cougar, of course, go Cougs. Okay, so some job responsibilities and their descriptions. Okay, so the first responsibility will be to create and curate a vision for innovation and implementation of emerging and transformative technology at WSU. Okay, so this vision is going to be the overarching vision, a long-term vision um, for innovation. Um, and then for the description for that, so this this vision should be in alignment with international and national educational technology standards. It should also be progressive as well as written with the purpose of with the purpose of holistic enhancement. Okay, so not just um in terms of aesthetics, improving technology in terms of aesthetic. Uh, but academically, instructionally, and administratively. The second responsibility will be to present semi-annual projects to key stakeholders and maintain their interest in ongoing and completed projects. This would include the presentation and proposal of data and technical systems, as well as innovative projects. The third responsibility would be to strategically plan out the implementation of technological enhancement projects, so really engaging each step. Uh, the description for that says engage with multiple perspectives and the institution's main technology objectives to identify action steps that need to be taken towards achieving implementation goals and technological solutions. Uh, so they have to be a very strategic planner, um, very innovative, creative, and um, versed in project management. Uh, the fourth responsibility will be to coordinate and manage the integration of technical systems, network infrastructure, and development of emerging technologies. So to, to manage the entire process and project uh, from beginning to end, while maintaining stakeholders' interest and investors' interest in those projects um, and implementing them. And, it's, and the, for the fourth responsibility, the description says this would involve ensuring that new systems of technology are accessible to all students at the institution as well as compatible for instructional purposes. Uh, so the director is expected to um, ensure that uh, emerging technologies are accessible to all students and that equity and, um, yeah, that it, essentially equity is um, at play at all for each project um, and ensuring that um, that uh, each project is compatible and, um, compli and in compliance with ethical standards. The fifth responsibility will be to lead an execution of visions, concrete goals, and long-term plans of technology implementation at WSU. This will involve leadership of the technology unit team as well as other directorial staff within the unit and institution. So the technolo technology and innovation director will also be um, acting manager for the technology unit team, um, directing them through um, implementation processes and uh, project management 
as well as integration of technical systems. Okay. And some qualifications. Um, we are requiring a minimum of a bachelor's degree in the technology-centered field, which uh, some examples or preferred examples would be information technology, computer technology, educational technology, um, as well as a minimum of five years of working experience in a leading technology department, um, education uh, in an educational department, of course, and a minimum of three years spent in a management supervisor or directorial position. Uh, since we are a large university, uh, we are requiring that the director have extensive experience in a management position um, in which they would have had to lead a team or uh, uh, lead the department, um, other members of the department through projects and uh, have taken a leadership, a huge leadership responsibility in the past. Um, I do want to mention that candidates with a master's degree um, will be required to have a minimum of four years of, of working experience in a leading technology department rather than uh, five. And um, same thing, same um, stipulations with the degree, information technology, computer technology, education technology, or even software engineering. Some skills involved with this position um, innovation, of course, the ability to um, be creative and innovative in d the discovery of systems and the implementation of systems and proposals of systems. Um, leadership, of course, being able to lead a team and to take uh, leadership of an entire department, take leadership of a vision and execute it. Te team building, inspiration, strategic planning it is essential that the director um, is well versed at again project management and processing um, communication of course maintaining communication with stakeholders and investors will be very important and ensuring that uh, they are kept on board and um, up to date about current projects and plans oh excuse me current projects and plans that the university has in place as well as goals to uh, achieve these plans some rules that the director is expected to serve is uh, serving the first one being serve as a visionary and executioner for the institution's overarching vision and long-term plan for the technology unit director of all innovation projects processes and execution teams ambassador and promoter of all emerging technical systems and it projects throughout the de department and institution um, of course since they will be proposing new technical systems to stakeholders and investors. They will also be the ambassador and promoter of these emerging te technology systems um, and, and implementations. To apply for this position, um, an application package is required, which would include a cover letter, a resume, full application completed on the Technology Unit Human Resources website tab online, and uh, the email to um, send your completed application to is the innotechwazoo at wsu.edu. So I hope you enjoyed the short presentation about our position and I do hope that you take the time out to apply. Salary information is also on our website and you can view that there. Thank you very much.